What if I told you there was a philosopher who walked the bustling streets of ancient Rome, not with the grandeur of a senator, but with the wisdom of what some would call a Roman Socrates? This is the story of Musonius Rufus, a figure whose teachings still echo through the corridors of time, influencing the way we think about resilience, virtue, and the art of living. But why isn't he as famous as his stoic counterparts, Seneca or Marcus Aurelius? Musonius Rufus, often overshadowed by his illustrious student Epictetus, was a master of practical philosophy. Born in the first century AD, his life was a testament to the Stoic belief that living a virtuous life is the only path to true happiness. Yet, amidst the luxury of the Roman elite, Musonius chose simplicity. But what does simplicity mean in a world of excess? To answer this, Musonius famously said, it is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more that is poor. In our age of constant consumption and material pursuit, these words urge us to reflect on what truly constitutes wealth. Is it the accumulation of goods or the richness of contentment? Delving deeper into his teachings, Musonius believed that philosophy should not just be discussed, but lived fully. He advocated that the key to wisdom lies in action, not merely thought. What is the point of all these elegant arguments, he would ask, if they do not produce any improvement in the listeners? Through this lens, Musonius challenges us today. Are we just consumers of information, or do we act on what we learn? Instead of emphasizing theoretical resilience, Musonius focused on practical challenges and daily disciplines. He championed the idea that enduring hardship with a calm and composed mind was essential. To practice dying is to practice freedom, he declared, suggesting that a person who has learned to diminish his desires and accept hardship can truly be free from fear and turmoil. How can this stoic resilience inform the way we handle our modern day stresses? Musonius was revolutionary in his views on gender equality. He argued vigorously for the education of women, stating, the virtues of man and woman are the same. Imagine the radical nature of this statement in a deeply patriarchal society. By advocating that women should be taught philosophy and virtue just as men are, Musonius was not just ahead of his time. He was reshaping the very fabric of his society. He also tackled the topic of food, not from the perspective of pleasure, but from the necessity of health and simple living. He questioned, why do we eat? Is it to satisfy an endless pursuit of pleasure or to nourish the body and mind for higher purposes? In today's world, where food is often about indulgence, what can we learn from his approach to eating for health? If Musonius Rufus has sparked a new perspective for you, don't just move on. Engage with it. Like, subscribe and comment below to join the conversation. Share your thoughts or how you might apply stoic principles in your life.